Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello. I know a few of you said that you were hoping to join me live. So I will just chit chatter until that happens. I hope all of you are well. Hello. I'm going to put my glasses on. I keep pretending I don't need them, but actually I do. Hello, lovely Delilah. So pleased. You can join us this evening. And Leah, thank you. It's so lovely to have your energy join the group. Um, so welcome, welcome. We'll see who else joins. And Jennifer, oh, it's so good to see you. Lovely. I don't feel like I'm on my own in the ethers and it always adds to the energy. Uh, you know, when I mean, it's just the same if you're watching the replay. The healing's the same, the energy's the same, but it kind of builds. The more people are on live, uh, the more it builds. And there's some really powerful ladies in this group. So, um, yeah, it's a real, uh, a real pleasure to see you all here. So, we will just, uh, I hope everyone is well. Um, how is this? I'm just going to go, I've forgotten to put something on. Sorry, I wanted to bring these roses. Um, so these roses were uh, in, uh, we always have red and white roses when we do the retreat uh, in Ireland. And um, just to, for those of you who have been to the retreat, Delilah, I know, of course you have, Deirdre, when she joins us. Um, so we usually hand out at the end, you know, we have roses as part of the altar. Uh, and certainly, you know, because it's working with Mary Magdalene, and the rose um and last time we were kind of running quite over time and we we forgot to hand the roses out to people so we left them in the vase there's no water in the vase and that was two months ago so when we went back at the weekend the vase was still there eric the owner had moved the flowers um from the center of the pyramid to the altar uh and they were still like this two months out of water sitting in the pyramid and they are still in bloom how incredible is that so um yeah if i can sit in a pyramid for two months and just rejuvenate or i might turn this into some face cream some nice eye cream or something um because that energy it was real i mean you can feel the energy anyway but to, just to see the physical magic of that like how can a flower live for two months without water and um, still being bloom so incredible so this is the energies that, that we that we are working with this is the energies that are coming down um, for us to be on this planet and to walk around with and um, it was a really uh, it was a very different very different retreat this time uh, so something was clearly happening I didn't actually know what was going to come through until about 20 minutes uh, as I was driving up to the site um, and, you know, I, I think it was a very much a preparation for, you know, what, what's coming for many of us, for all of us, for, you know, it's been a really interesting year, shall I say, where, you know, we've had to revisit quite a lot of old stuff. Um, and, but, you know, we, we have all expanded massively. We've all grown hugely in this year and it feels like next year is going to be a little bit more like coming into new beginnings new beginnings which is of course uh, the name of my program so I must have um, intuitively known that beforehand um, so how, I mean there's lots of stuff about 1212 and all of that and the way that I see it so I can only do it from what I'm seeing and and being shown uh, is that there's a real balancing of the male of the female uh, into the birthing of this new energy which is the divine child uh, and that divine child energy that lies within each of us and obviously the divine children that are waiting to be born and what i was shown when i was um in the in the zone shall we say in the pyramid um was literally the sky opening and all of these baby souls 
and whether that's a representation of the new energy or whether that is um you know that the actual baby souls it felt to me like oh my god all of these babies were now ready and they're ready you know when we're trying to become pregnant when we're trying to become pregnant when we want to become pregnant when we're you know we can feel that child, we can feel that baby in our space um and if we've lost children we can you know we want to know where they are and all of that and if they're okay you know they really are and for anyone who's new you know go and take a look at the channeled messages that are in the file file section um just about you know uh, from from all kind of aspects of of loss and how that experience is for your for your baby it's very different for them a lot harder for us um and what was i going to say so there's lots there's many reasons why many reasons why either our babies choose not to stay or we're still waiting for them to arrive and i you know there's, there's us and our patterns and programs you know what are we believing about ourselves what are we telling ourselves i'm too old i don't deserve i'm not worthy whatever our childhood stuff was our own birth uh, you know, is it safe to come in? I don't want to go through that experience again. You know, all of them, all of this stuff that goes on in our sub subconscious. And so, um, so what I do is really try, you know, really guide you to those beliefs. So, you know, whatever, every thought is an energy. And if we're putting out the energy of I don't deserve, or it's not safe, or it's hard work, or I'm too old, um, you know, all of that stuff that goes on, all that life stuff, our own childhood, childhood experiences of being worthy of, you know, it, having a good time or not um, on the earth and in our own relationships with our mothers as well really comes into play. So I definitely work on the level of, of the mind and the body in this here and now. And that may well go back to other lifetimes when we're carrying energy through. So we, you know, we just follow the energy of what we're feeling about pregnancy. But also you're not on this journey alone. It's also, you know, your babies have choices as well. Uh, and they may choose that it's not, they might, it just might not be the right time for them. They have been told that they are, you know, some of them just say, oh no, just not yet. They're because they're still doing their own work, if you like, on themselves. Um, others have, you know, there's things that they that they're asking for, um, and I hope it's right to say that you know they that they're asking for us basically to be fully aware that they are not coming in for us; they are coming in for them. And really, weirdly or not, I've just got had a WhatsApp mess. Someone just sent one of my clients who's not here to do baby work. Um, sent me this uh, something that was on Instagram from Joe Dispenza and it was your um, babies come through you not for you okay so babies come through you not for you as everything is birthed through you they are not here to heal you they are not here to fill your gaps and your uh, heartache and your uh, you know experience and wanting they are here for their own experience and and to bring, you know, whatever it is they're here to bring for their own journey. We all have a life purpose. We all have a soul plan. And we have a choice to understand ourselves at a very deep level. So what they're asking is for us to understand ourselves at a very deep level. In order that we can understand that they are also beings in their own right. With their own choices and their own life path. Um, and they, you know, they, the, new, the new souls coming in uh, are so incredibly wise and pure and you know they haven't got time basically to deal with life as we have clearing all the crap clear you know uh, all the ancestral stuff all the past life stuff uh you know all, all of those patterns and programs they want to come in and they want to get on with the job of bringing this amazing energy to change how the world is done um, and they need their parents to be aware of that so they need their parents to be aware first of themselves and and then aware that they've got, you know, these souls are very special. Um, all souls are special, but these souls are coming in and they haven't got time to wait until they're 30 to go, do you know what, I'm gonna deal with that traumatic moment in my childhood. Um, you know, they want to be understood from the word go, uh, that they are here with their own purpose. They are coming through you, they are not coming here for you. So this is what they're asking for, to understand, for us to understand ourselves 
more deeply so we can then help them to understand themselves more fully and be able to get on with whatever they're getting on with uh, without um, you know what we've had to go through uh, so that's them and then also there's divine timing uh, you know there's there's the divine timing so it's there so it's our timing and what we're going through uh, and clearing that and becoming more self-aware it's their timing and their choice when they're ready if we can give them what they need in order to feel safe to come in because they need to feel safe they need to feel that we are going to help them onto their path uh, and and then it's divine timing it's like that whole bigger picture and there was a big 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 picture going on here which I won't go into yet but um, if you want to you know look at my message uh, if you go into my blog there's loads of messages on there as well um, some of which you know I'm still <laughs> trying to understand to be quite honest uh, but you know we, there's a big there's always a big picture going on and divine timing and it feels like now is the time where the world is changing the energy in the world is changing and it may not look like it out there because there's some really as always some awful 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 things happening uh, you know obviously our own tragedies but also you know just generally in the world uh, but hold on to that trust you know this is what people like I'm here for you know Delilah's a healer uh, Deirdre's a healer who you know there's many 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 of us that are, are here holding that trust um, that you know really holding that trust that is changing and it really feels like it's changing and it really feels like the balance has tipped and we are coming more back into balance you know the divine feminine energy is, is really risen it's now time to heal the male energy to you know balance that out uh, in order f you know for this new way of being in the world and it feels like it started it feels like it's here um, and so the meditation right now uh, is going to be well we'll see where it comes but uh, I, I've been told it's kind of going to be similar to what was happening on Saturday so we will see how that goes. Uh, I've probably done enough talking. Um, yeah, but just so you're aware, it's yourself you need to look at in order to understand them, for them to feel safe, and also divine timing. The divine timing feels like it is now. Uh, they are ready. So let's be ready for them and let's be ready to welcome them in and bring this beautiful energy as you know the ones they have chosen to bring, you know, bring through us. I hope that makes sense to everyone, but ask me any questions. And of course, you know, just uh, reach out and let's get going. Let's get going if you if you want to clear some stuff and do your soul plan, find your life purpose and, and all of that and really get into that, that pure zone, if you like, um, as pure as we possibly can be. Uh, in, you know, there's only little tweaks that are needed in order for our baby to go, right, it's now, it's, it's now. Um, and obviously we can't guarantee that we are that might not be our journey but if you feel a baby in your space uh you know and certainly with miscarriage there is a uh, a sense of them often they just need to pop in and start start getting ready start adjusting to the density of the world um if you like and so you know coming in and out uh oh coming in the door just opened um that was interesting uh coming in and out uh just getting used to the density of this world you know but they are always with you i promise they are fine and they are always with you and you know if there is if they choose to come back then they will come back um okay so we have archangel michael with us there's another story about that but i will just get on with the meditation and see where we go so if you all settle into a lovely space And I want you to breathe in and breathe your eyes closed. And breathing out and just letting go of the day. Breathing in, breathing all of your energy back to you from across time and space, people and events. Focusing it right behind your eyes. And as you breathe out, feeling your energy, topping yourself up with all of that energy that's been scattered around, bringing it back to you and feeling all of that energy moving down, filling you up. But all of the thoughts, we don't need our thoughts right now, melting away, drifting down and away. 
And again, lovely deep breath in, breathing all of your energy back to you from across time and space, people and events, feeling yourself topped up. As you breathe out, coming more and more into center. And I just want to say, if you are pregnant, this is probably going to be a powerful um, meditation. So uh, maybe not for you right now. Uh, it's going to be quite a lot of room clearing. Um, so, you know, certainly if you're in the first few weeks, then probably this, this isn't going to be this. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's beautiful energy, but I think there's a lot of stuff that's going to come out. So we just, or if you are pregnant and you want to do the meditation, I mean, this is, your body is hugely intuitive. Just know, just let the baby know it's nothing to do with them. Wrap them in golden light. Okay, that just came in just in case anyone is feeling a little bit sensitive around that. Wrap your baby in golden light. But this is probably not a meditation for, for you if you are pregnant. I'm getting that quite strongly, actually. So do the breathing. And that's it. Okay. And again, breathing in. And this time when you're breathing out, I want you to let out a really deep sigh. So breathing in. <sighs> sighing. Oh, so sighing brings us down out of our heads, out of our thoughts, and into our hearts. So it helps us get out of stress. And of course, being stressed is a major factor in not having the hormones flowing to conceive. So coming down into our heart, and imagine that you're looking out at the world from your heart. So you're not looking from your mind or your eyes, you're looking at the world from your heart. And making the command zero in your mind, zero point. You might feel your energy shifting into balance. And again, from this beautiful vortex of energy in the center of your chest, your heart center, making the command in your mind of zero point ground. Feel your energy dropping downwards. And again, from this beautiful place in your heart, making the command zero point source. Okay, beautiful. So just know you are fully connected into the purest forms of energy from above and below with you as that still point, that bridge between the two. And I want you to imagine yourself in a circle with all of the women in this group, whether they're here watching live, listening live, whether they are watching the replay, whether they are yet to join. Imagine yourself in a beautiful sisterhood circle, holding hands, and in the center of that circle is a violet flame of transmutation. So that is in the center of this circle. We're just going to set this space. Just know that you are in a beautiful healing space calling down absolute divine love and light, waterfall of light to fill this circle, fill this space. Just seeing that fire burning away in the center and just connecting in with the group, especially if you're new. And sending out a hello to everyone in the group.
and feeling that hello back as we all honor each other's journeys, support each other. Okay, so we are going to drop hands and each of you walking into that violet flame. And this is obviously not a flame that burns, it's a transmuting flame. So it just clears, it just transmutes anything that's ready to be cleared. And I want to see yourself walking into the center of that flame. And as you enter into the center of that flame, you realize that you're going down through a portal and dropping down, down, down. Sliding down, dropping down at a pace perfect for you all the way down, 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 dropping down through all the layers of the earth, down, 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 down. All the layers deeper and deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. And just as you realize, or you think you've reached the heart of mother earth, just seeing that layer fall away as you drop down even further, and again, reaching another layer that falls away as you drop down even further. Deep, deep, deep in the womb of Mother Earth. All of these new layers being revealed. And you find yourself in the womb of Mother Earth. In the soft but deep glow of the womb. You can hear the pulse, the heartbeat of the earth echoing from around you, from above. That comforting sound of the heart, the mother's heart. As you take a step around and look in at your surroundings, a deep red and you can hear that beat of the heart. You might hear the blood that's flowing, whoosh. And as you adjust to your surroundings, you realize you're here for a very, very deep healing. And there's some beautiful cushions that have laid out for you. Notice the color. As you walk slowly towards these cushions and allow yourself to lie back and rest. And there is nothing for you to do. You are held in the womb of the mother, safe and protected, loved beyond measure. As I, we, I am now going to call in, we are going to call in all of those beings who are here to help and support and offer you that deep, deep healing. So resting back, being held, there is nothing for you to do there is no one for you to be other than yourself. You are loved. Just the way you are. You are loved as you. As you allow yourself to feel that embrace, to feel that letting go into the love. Much as a baby in its mother's arms. Allowing yourself to let go. And you feel and sense some movement around you. You start to notice that there are beings coming in from either side of you. And these are the goddesses. And these goddesses are down the side of 
your four on the right hand side, four on the left hand side. I'm not getting any names, Aphrodite is one. Maybe the names will come. <sighs> Lakshmi is another. <sighs> just settle into that energy and just feel the goddesses kneeling down along each side, placing their hands on your body. Infusing you with their energy with their knowledge and with their wisdom. Holding you and waiting for this, feels like initiation, healing. Okay. And stepping in to that scene now. is Jesus, is Christ, and he is behind your head, and he is holding the back of your head, underneath your head, in the palms of his hands. And you feel it's almost like a hatch. This is one of your chakras, this is your intuition. This is where we receive our information and you are being the gift of, of opening this up tonight, activating this this evening. We are ready, girls, we are ready to take and claim our full power and that masculine, pure Christ energy, that perfect balance that lies within this energy. Feeling the back of your head opening, feeling that chakra opening and all of the this flowing out of gunk, the flowing out of old patterns, I can't, I shouldn't, I won't, it's not possible, I'm not intuitive, I'm not allowed, whatever it is that's been holding you back from being in contact with yourself, with, the, with your babies, with the universe, just that connection, the whole of the universe just feel, oh, geez, feeling feeling the hands of Christ at the back of your head and just gonna I'm gonna be silent for a moment where you can start to feel that energy and feel the healing as all of that old stuff pours out of the back of your head freeing up space Feeling it move all the way down your, it's like the energy is moving down all the way down your shoulders, but it's clearing the way, it's clearing your intuition, your ability and activating even further your female intuition. Allowing all of that to drain away, anything that's blocking that, drain away. And the goddesses on either side now taking your attention down to the soles of your feet. And you become aware at, the, at your feet is in, in coming in is Mother Mary, the energy of the Divine Mother. And she is placing her hands on the soles of your feet. And you can feel her energy rising up 
through the soles of your feet, all the way up your shins, your calves, your thighs, moving into your groin, moving into all the intimate parts of your body, your female parts, your receiving, receiving this healing energy from Mother Mary, feeling your cervix, just being eased, moving up into your womb, into your tubes, into your ovaries. They're all receivers. Your ovaries are chakra centers receiving the light. And as this pure golden energy from Mother Mary rises up through the soles of your feet. It starts to shake loose all of that old stuff again. Any old partners, any sense of being taken advantage of, any birth traumas, any energy of any beautiful little souls who chose not to stay in that moment, just feeling all of this releasing, 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 feeling your cervix screaming, if you like, out that pain, allowing all of that pain from your lifetime, your experiences as a woman, And all of that ancestral stuff, your mother's pain, her grandmother's pain, back, 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 back. We are going deep, 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 deep into the womb, deep, deep, deep into the recesses, feeling Mother Mary's energy rising up through the soles of your feet all the way to your womb, shaking loose all of that stuff. We do not need this. We want a clear vessel, whether that's, you know, whether you're, it's the home for your future babies, whether you are creating life, your life, helping others to create life. We heal from our wombs. We create from our wombs. We want this space clear. And we are so powerful. We are so powerful. We are releasing all of that. Again, that gunk is the only word I can think of. Releasing, 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 clearing it out and being replaced with that golden light from the healing. And I'm going to leave you for a moment and be aware of the soles of your feet. Do they feel like they're tingling? Are they hot? I'm feeling the energy coming in through your body now and allowing all of this release, release, release. A womb blessing and a womb healing. <sighs> Let go, girls. Let go. You are safe to let all of this go. Okay, you're now feeling this energy. Now you've got clear intuition, clear womb, feeling the energy from your mind, from your, 
from your intuition, from that pineal gland now clear, moving down, sharing that energy, crossing over your heart and down to your womb and all the way up in a figure of eight, connecting your intuition, your heart and your womb, your womb, your heart, your intuition, your intuition, your heart, your womb, all of this wisdom, all of this knowledge, all of this power, reconnecting you as you, you as that powerful creator that you are. Feeling the energy of that with Christ at your head, with Mother Mary at your feet. Feeling that connection. Head, heart, room. Okay. And I wasn't sure if this was going to happen, but it is going to happen. Okay, so walking into the room now is Mary Magdalene. And she is, just feel that energy, and she is holding a rose. And she is placing that rose now onto your heart. And feeling that healing as your heart opens. And that figure of eight, that infinity symbol aligns. It's no longer it's no longer secrets and wisdom and our power that has to be kept inside us. It's now straight. We can share, we are safe to share ourselves again out into the world. The rose on your heart has aligned your heart, your head, your heart, your womb. And there is a direct connection all the way from above and source and all the way down to the very womb of the earth. Feeling that heart on your, that rose on your heart and just allowing your energy to shift. For you to feel straighter taller, stronger, more powerful. <sighs> Sensing that rose on your heart, opening up your heart to the exact level that's perfect for you. Just allowing yourself to shift into alignment. And as you feel that energy settling, your feet might be tingling, your head might be tingling, your heart might feel open. Very, very powerful healing because you are ready to experience the new, to birth you, to birth something new. And that may well be a new life. And feeling yourself now, gathering yourself up and thanking all of those beautiful beings, all of the goddesses, all of the Holy Family, the Christ, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, oh my gosh, the power. <sighs> Thanking all of those beings and Mother Earth herself, that deep, deep healing. As you rise up off the cushions, heading towards the bright, bright light you can see ahead of you. 
knowing this is your portal back up heading 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 towards the light feeling this balance this strength this newness about you as you feel that pulse of the heart the heartbeat feeling the pulse of the heart getting louder and louder with each pulse of the heart lifting you birthing you out of the womb up, 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 coming out, up and up, each heartbeat lifting you higher and higher and higher and higher, up, out of the earth, back onto the earth. And as you look up at the blue, blue sky, Sending your connection up to your babies in spirit or your future babies in spirit. Any of those children that you are contracted to help and support in any way on their life journeys. Sending gratitude up to them. Sending your heart link, your love. Feeling the sky opening. <sighs> and feeling all of the energy your, of your own baby spirit. There's so many up there, so many feeling excited. It's time, it's their time, and it's your time, and it's being as ready as you possibly can be, feeling the energy and maybe connecting in, asking for your own baby to step forward now, And some, I'm actually seeing some kind of coming down like properly and being in front of you. And I can see two of them uh, that have roses. So whoever those roses are for, it's, I can see a little girl, I can see a little boy. They're showing themselves to me about three years old. Very happy, very, very happy. One has got a yellow rose. For someone, their baby is going to be their best friend. That's what they're telling me. So I'm going to leave you for a moment with the energy of your babies in spirit or future babies. just as you are giving them the gift of self-awareness, awareness of yourself, in order for them to be able to come through you, birthed through you. They too have a gift for you. It might be a word, an object, and relax. And thanking your beautiful spirit baby for showing up today. Reassuring them, loving them, whatever they need in order to come in if that is your path and their path. Simply to have that connection knowing that they are always with you. Feeling that love in your heart.
as you walk back towards the violet flame. Standing in the center of this flame, no longer a portal, it's going to be taking you back into this dimension, into this space and time. Just feeling any of remnants, any old energy, energy that's not yours. Just allow yourself to be cleaned and cleansed. And as that energy just dissipates, thanking all of your sisters around you. And when you're ready, taking a nice deep breath in. Feeling yourself moving and feeling present in the chair. Coming back into the room. And when you're ready, opening your eyes. <sighs> hello. Hello, hello. How is everybody? Just taking a nice, slowly, slowly, slowly. Very, very deep, 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 deep healing. Okay, so everyone okay? Just let me know. I'm going to turn. Hold on. I'll turn the heat off. I was burning up. Uh, okay, so if anyone um, wants to share, just let me know that you're all okay. Uh, that certainly felt powerful from where I was sitting, those energies coming in. Um, and usually the meditations from the retreat, uh, you know, I don't record them. They are just there in the moment for whatever needs to happen. But I was very much guided. That's very similar to what was happening at, in the pyramid on Saturday. Um, so, you know, we are carrying this energy now. We are carrying this healing, this alignment. So no longer having to keep all this wisdom and knowledge and secrets and women's creativity and you know we've held on to it for so long it's safe it's safe it's safe to be us it's safe now um and there's like this direct connection from above all the way down below now to um connect in with you your higher self belief in yourself and also your babies or future babies so lovelies if anyone is still watching i don't know it was quite long um leah beautiful i saw a flying blonde angel holding a baby in his arms towards me i hope it's my baby boy coming back physical this time oh, so do i so do i leah it's um what a beautiful image, what an absolutely beautiful image. And as I said, there's so many reasons for miscarriage and sometimes it is to give us a kick onto our spiritual path to get us to look more deeply at ourselves. Um, and they absolutely choose to come back. Uh, if that's their path, some of them are just coming in to wake us up and then someone else, you know, another, someone else steps in for them. Otherwise they come back. There's just, I mean, the, the picture is huge. So your story will be unique and you are in this together with him. Um, okay. So there was definitely a little boy. I don't know who he was connected to. Um, but one had a yellow rose and it was like, I'm your best friend. So it was such a beautiful energy. Um, and uh, Nisreen, I hope that was so lovely to see you. I know you're new here as well, so that's beautiful. So thank you very much for showing up for you uh, and showing up for your for your babies as well. Um, oh, I, uh, I could feel the spirit of my baby too. Who will be my best friend? Oh, so much gratitude for making me see and feel the love of my baby. Oh. You know what, we feel the love for ourselves first and then we can allow ourselves to feel, you know, our, our babies. If we can see ourselves through the eyes of our babies and future babies, 
all we would see is love. And what they want is that reflection. You know, of course we love them, but they want you to love you. They want, they want, they want us to see ourselves as they see us, which is pure love. So the more we allow ourselves to love ourselves, to know ourselves, then you know, the more able, the more confident, if you like. Um, you know, that's their gift. It's their gift and and Trust me, I know it doesn't feel like a gift, uh, especially if you're, you know, if you've been waiting a long time or if you've experienced loss. Um, but we try, we aim to look for the gifts. That's what they're doing. You are in this together. You are not on your own in this journey. It is completely a journey of you and your baby and your babies. Um, and they are very much in charge with what they need and what they want. They know they are very clear. And they are there to help us um, become clear on, on what, what it is that we need. So um, that's beautiful. So I'm so pleased. And thank you very much for letting me know um, how you went. And um, oh, Jennifer, yellow rose significant to me. So really accept that. Accept that, Jennifer. Um, and, you know, picture that yellow rose and see if that you can intuitively feel where that yellow rose needs to go in your body. Is it in a particular chakra? Um, you know, does it, is it need, you know, does it need to go in your heart? Just sense if it needs to go somewhere in your, in your kind of energy field uh, and accept that beautiful gift. Um, so gorgeous ladies, thank you very, very much for joining me. Um, I always say it's going to be quick and it never is, but you know, we can't always rush these things. We're taken where we're taken and, um, you know, it's really important to trust uh, trust the energies that we're working with and we are very blessed to have the very you know the most amazing energies uh in this group supporting us so a huge gratitude um okay so thank you very special meditation okay so uh yes as i was saying i go you know us healing us being self-aware um and then, you know, ask, you know, our gifts, what's, what's, how, what's the messages from our babies, connecting in with them uh, and then divine timing. So if, you know, and I'm here, work with me, you know, work with me. <laughs> oh, there's lots of other healers in this group as well. It might not be me, but you're in this group for a reason. So it might be someone else who, um, who can help you. Uh, but really, you know, it's my, it's my, it's my passion. Um, it's my life purpose to help you be the very more the more fully you in order for you to guide your baby to be more fully them. Um, so I will love you and leave you for this evening. I know in, in your heart, gorgeous, perfect, Jennifer, perfect. Just hold there, feel the vibration. Roses are the highest vibration flowers. So really feel that coming out and there's the lovely flowers from the pyramid from the beautiful energy where that meditation came through uh just adding into uh adding into the mix um yes yeah, so please do reach out to me whether that's just for a chat you know that's that uh, that's what I'm, I'm here uh or whether you're just ready to step more onto your onto your spiritual journey and com connection with your baby um or your spiritual path okay so mwah, lots of love to you all uh, an absolute pleasure the portal is open and you are aligned to it so god bless and lots of love and see you very soon mwah. night night everyone love you